So I did a video a few months ago about improving your laser engraving using borax and you create a solution and spray it on a piece of material and uh, magically things get a whole lot better. Uh, anyway, I did a bit of research and looked at a few more materials and I want to show you the results. So stick around. How's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome back to my shop. And as I mentioned, I did a video a few months ago where I created a borax water solution that I sprayed on Baltic birch and it drastically improve the uh, quality of, of a engraving on a photo. And if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up here, go watch it. Uh, surprisingly, it went, it went viral and thousands of people watched it, which made me happy, but it was definitely shocking. Uh, at any rate, uh, some of the questions that came out of that, both in, in the uh, comments in the video, as well as people shooting me some email and having some conversations, was can you use this technique for other materials? And I thought, what a, you know, what a great opportunity to kind of do some investigation. I like doing a bit of research. So what I did in, for this video was I put a number of materials that I had just kicking around my shop, uh, mostly scraps. And, uh, you know, I sprayed half of it with borax and left half untouched just to see what the effect was. And I threw it down on, on my Muse 3D and did an engraving of, a, of an image. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll look at the results here. So let's get started. So I've stacked up a bunch of materials here I wanna, I wanna try with, with borax. And what I'll do is I'll divide each of them half and half so we, and I'll just engrave an image on them and we'll see what, what they look like. Of course, we'll start with my old friend Baltic Birch, which I used in the previous video. But then I have uh, pre-finished walnut. Uh, it's actually MDF plywood, but it's got a real walnut finish on it and cork somebody asked about cork whether whether borax would have an impact on that we'll give that a try and then we'll try things that are a little more odd like cardboard uh, cardstock and i found a piece of uh, slate tile it's actually from a failed project i had before so i'll use the back and we'll give it a try and see if if it has a difference as well so we'll, we'll look at those and uh, see what happens Okay, so I'll do these on my Muse 3D, and uh, you can see I, I had these are all these round pieces that I had left over from another project, and I'll stick this this rose image, and it's nice just because it's it's got lots of grayscale in it, so uh, so I'll use that, and it's I'll leave for all of them I'll set them all at 250 by 250 dots per inch, and the power for each material will will change it'll be a bit of a guess honestly uh, so uh, you'll just have to try this if, if any of these work now to be honest I don't know what any of these are going to do so uh, so it's a surprise to me as well so we'll see what happens anyway I'll give it a shot Okay, so time to take a look at some of the results here. I've got this big pile of, of material. And the first one, of course, is my Baltic birch. And no surprise, it worked very well on the borax side. And you saw when I was laser cutting it, I actually took three stabs at it by the time I got anything that I could actually see properly. So this side is actually almost three times the power of this side. This side was 30%, this side is, I think, 75% power. So uh, it's just, 
you know, it's just crazy. So anyway, we'll, we'll call that one a, a, a victory. Borax definitely works. Now the pre-finished walnut, uh, not such a good, uh, a good result. Uh, the borax side and the other side are essentially indistinguishable. So we'll call that one a fail. We'll throw that one over there. Cork. This one actually had a surprising effect. It's, it's a little crisper, a little darker on this side. Same power on both of these, by the way. Uh, it was only the Baltic birch where I changed the power. So you can see it's just a little bit better. It's not, you know, it's not like Baltic birch where it's night and day, literally. Uh, here it's just, it's just better. Uh, cardboard, again, not really surprised. Uh, no real distinguishable, distinguishable difference. Slightly darker, perhaps, on the cardboard side, on the borax side, but not not anything that would warrant the time. Uh, basic cardstock. Aside from the fact that spraying water on the paper made it all all kind of wrinkly on the sides, no real impact there. Uh, so we'll call that one a miss. Uh, same with with slate. If you have dreams of making slate engraving darker with borax, uh, bad news, it just doesn't have any impact at all. Uh, I did have a couple of extra materials which I didn't show at the start. I did have a piece of leather I, I pulled out of my, my supply. And leather, much like cork, uh, was just slightly better. You can see the water drop down at the bottom. It's definitely visible. It's definitely crisp on the borax side. Downside, of course, you can see it. It, it Putting borax, borax on there uh, definitely kind of tinted the, the leather. So, you know, you can decide, but it did actually improve it, made it a little less contrasty. So we'll call that one a victory. Last one here was the, uh, was I, I had a piece of cherry plywood unfinished. And again, like Baltic birch, uh, definitely positive. Uh, I like this one so much actually that I did a, a whole one. And again, you can see the water drop here. This is almost photo worthy. Like this is actually really good. So, you know, this one, definitely my favorite. So there you have it, a number of different materials. Some of them honestly surprised me that they worked. Some surprised me that they didn't work. Uh, the best one, of course, ended up to be this, this piece of cherry plywood I had, and, and I'll show you the image again. This thing is just amazing. And, uh, you know, I would definitely recommend doing anything like this. If you were going to make a, a coaster out of wood uh, and you wanted to put an image on it, definitely use this technique. Spray it with clear coat and, and you've got, you know, a super coaster. So... Uh, anyway, hopefully you, you got a bit out of this video and, you know, if you're one of those people who uses uh, certainly things like cherry plywood or uh, leather, uh, you know, definitely give this a try and, and see if you like it. Anyway, as always, uh, I'll put a video up here. Go watch that and I'll see you over there and get out there and make your world and I'll see you next time.